Anyway, one night just here. What's up, guys? FSC Trucking. Yeah, we were just here. I got Orwell behind me. Orwell's my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. I'm over at the Loves. We're back at exit 230 over here in Indiana off of Interstate 65. Why are we at the Loves? Well, we left here. Actually, I slept last night over at the TA across the street. Came over here to get my egg cup. Then we went up to Illinois to drop off the excavator that I brought out of Baltimore. Now what we got to do is we got to go down to Indianapolis now with the truck empty and go pick up a fire truck. That's going to go back up to the Pier Service Center up in Wyoiga, Wisconsin. So we're going to load that truck this afternoon and then we're going to unload tomorrow in the morning. That's the plan anyway. From there, who knows? We'll find out here soon enough. So with that, let me go ahead and explain the star of the show. Me. No, 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 no. Right there, Orwell. Orwell is a 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. I probably just mentioned that earlier. We've got a 7FB variant 3406B Caterpillar engine pushing it or pulling it, however which you want to look at it. 13-speed transmission. God knows what the rear ends are in it. Not really too concerned. Behind it, we got our double drop trailer. So we got to fill this with a fire truck. One of these fire trucks you're going to find out is why I carry these ramps behind me right here. They migrate back and forth between back there, down here, up on the top deck, either way. But you'll see why we carry them here when we load this up, unless it's uh, some weird type of crane load. But I'm, as far as I know, it's just going to be a drive on, just bag it on, hitch up and go. That's the plan anyway. All right, so with that, I got my breakfast eaten earlier. I got my lunch eaten now. They actually have my salads and my egg cups, so I'm happy here. Belly's full, good to go. A little bit of protein with the eggs. Big old salad. They put some cheese, some ham on it. Pretty good stuff. You guys should check it out. Uh, not, I don't forget what's in here. Whatever the fast food joint is in there. It's probably all right, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying, you know. I'm trying. All right, with that, let's get the GoPro set up and get on down the line. Indiana. Indianapolis ain't that close. Ain't that far neither. We'll try to get you some good shots of the trip down 65 getting on down there. All right, let's hit it. Oh, and before I forget, we're going to address the comments on the music. It is my channel, and I try to be diverse. But some people take the comments a little too far. population.
like motor pool garage for Indianapolis. It's probably more than just the fire department. Similar to that place I went to a while back in Jacksonville. It's that one right behind me. With the bashed in front end. I take it that's the unit going back. Oh, I, that's me. What'd you do? I didn't do it. Well, somebody did something. Fucked up the. Fucked up bad. How bad is it? Uh, it's pretty bad. It's going back. Well, you know why we go. Right? Oh yeah. So. I bring. I brought some mangled stuff over there. That's. It's, uh, it's not that mangled, but it's mangled. Well, the the tank's busted. Oh man! So it's a total redo. Yeah. All right, well, I guess yeah. it runs and drives good drives. though, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. You need anything off of me or? Nope. It'll fire right up then, huh? It fires right up. All right. Excellent. I'll take your word on it. If it don't, I'll call you. I'll be right here. Oh, all right. Well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll be right. I'll be, I'll be in that building at the at the most. So excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm, I'm okay there to break down and load up. Yeah. Now you're gonna have trucks coming by, so I'm right. just gonna just be careful because some of these. But I'm not in the way though, right? Uh, I don't think so. Well. Hey, Cap, would it be better if you backed up the way? Nah, I don't get that. I don't want to block it. Okay. I've got the ladder. I figured there only because there's enough room to get around me, even with a larger unit. Yeah, you're good. Plus, the trailer gets smaller once I drop it. Keep your eye out for these garbage truck motherfuckers. They like to <laughs> Oh, I know trouble there. All right, sweet. Hey, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. I love that truck. My uh, buddy was here. He'd be. That's an 84. Is it? 
little old caterpillar. There you go. Gets the job done. Huh? It gets the job done. Oh, oh yeah. A lot better than the new stuff. Oh yeah. You see my fancy exhaust system. I do. Oh yeah. <laughs> what's what's a piece of pipe cost? Yeah, exactly. Hey, <laughs> it works, right? You can't get around it. No. It's just, you know what I mean? It's either older equipment you gotta do more maintenance on or stuff. You know, you you know, you lose a piece of equipment if you if you're making big payments on a big semi truck. And nowadays, Peterbilt's are going 200 grand. Right. I don't even want to think about what that monthly payment is. What are you going to do when it's in the shop for two months? Yeah. It ain't making no money. Right. Exactly. I hear you. If this goes down, it doesn't cost me nothing to sit there. Right. You know, whatever. Right. All right, big man. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Now let's get this drop done. That was a bust of the strap. That's weird. Oh well, it is what it is. It's broken the middle. Oh, I got a whole case in the truck. Thanks, so.
Alrighty. Up we go. Oof. I guess it's gonna beep at me a lot. Check engine, low coolant. Air is already up, so let's not run it any longer than we need to. If it does actually have low coolant. Set the brake.
Battery kill. Excellent. Golden.